What's going on friends? So today I'm going to do a special video and show you guys exactly what I use in recording my guitars. Recording, um, I'm going to show you amps, I'm going to show you the amp settings, I'm going to show you the guitars for rhythm and lead, I'm going to show you pedals. So let's get started. <laughs> First, let's talk about strings. Which strings do I use? I have a bag of strings right here, and I will say most of the time I am using Diodarios. I just had really good luck with Diodarios. They sound great. They last a long time after the studio, so I like keeping them on my guitars. Um, you can see like I have all sizes. I have 56s, I have 52s, I have 59s. Um, I think I have a 60 somewhere in here. And so I use these Diodarios and I use um, Ernie Ball very rarely, um, but I will say what I tend to do is I buy individual Ernie Ball strings and I put them on the G string because you want, I prefer having the G string be wound. I learned that in the studio, um, another studio that we went to and it just keeps it in tune a lot better. So. The G string, I usually use 18s, or let's see, I have 18s, and then I have 24s for the really deep gauge. If you guys want to know string gauges, you can watch the other video I have about string gauges and which one you should use for different tunings. It's all of my opinions, but this is just the luck that I've had. Uh, but yeah, anyways, Diodario strings are usually for the win, and Ernie Balls for single strings. We're going to talk about rhythm guitars. Most guitars that I use for rhythm actually not even most, actually all the guitars I use for rhythm are usually LTDs, ESP, or Schecter. Usually if it's made in Korea, that's a, that to me is a rhythm guitar. I don't know what it is, I just like Korean guitars and they sound mad good uh, with lower tunings. So this is a Viper and I do use EMG81s on all my rhythms. All the rhythms that I've used for my band which, if you don't know by now, is Lies Behind Your Eyes. I'll put a link below. All the rhythm guitars are EMG 81s. And I'll show you. Uh, the Viper is one of my main rhythms, and then this would probably be my second rhythm, an LTD, ES, or, uh, LTD EC 1000. And you can see I have the James Hetfield set in here, and I actually changed it for the, I put the 81 in there just for recording purposes. Um, but this one's an axe as well, like it's a really good guitar, made in Korea again. Um, it's just something about LTDs, man, they just ring rhythm. They, they're so good and they sound so great. And you don't have to have the best guitars to, to do what you need to do, but this, to me, is my standard of what I use for rhythm. What pedals do I use to boost my amps for rhythm? These two. Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer and an OCD Full Tone Overdrive. Now. Usually, most of the time, I use the TS9. I just stay true to it. Um, but recently, we actually were using this. And then the most recent songs, we actually didn't boost at all. We just thought it sounded good. So you kind of go by your ear. If your ear thinks you know it sounds good, go by that. Don't just go with the solution of doing the same thing as everyone else. But in my luck, with LTD guitars and the amp I'm about to show you, TS9 is usually the one. So the rhythm guitar cabinets that I use, I only use this one. This is a Mesa, I believe it's a stiletto cabinet. It's a little bit smaller than the normal, um, but vintage 30 speakers. And that's just it. I don't try anything else. I do have a lot of other cabinets, but this is just to me the tried and true rhythm tone for my sound. You guessed it. What rhythm guitar amp do I use? A PV6505 Plus. You cannot beat this amp for not only the money, but also the quality. This amp is tight and it the distortion is just perfect for rhythm guitar. Um, I use the red channel on here. I know some people even use, I know Machine Head uses the crunch channel and the gain like almost all the way up. Um, but I use 6505. I've used Mesa Dual Rex in the, I had a Mesa Dual Roadster and I have a Mesa Dual Rack Mount. And I use those for rhythm as well, but we just didn't have as much luck with those. Um, but if we were going to have like a big ballad song, like a big fat song um, that used big power chords, I would use a, a try to use a Mesa Dual. But PV6505, you cannot mess up with 
anything that you're using for metal, it's just perfect. Now I'm gonna show you the settings that I use. And so right here, let me get my camera adjusted, there we go. So my gain is on four. My lows are on four, or almost a little bit above the four. My mids are at five, almost six. My highs, six. My volume, believe it or not, anywhere between one and two. I don't go any higher than that. And my residence and presence are six and a half and exactly five. Those are the settings that we use normally. We usually start this amp off at 666 because that's just the way it works. It just works really well and then we go base that and then we, we go by what we sound. But this is usually the settings that we would be using. What microphones do we use for leads and rhythm? One SM57 and one D6. I don't know the actual brand of the D6 but it's a microphone D6. I believe it's a kick drum. It's for the low end. But I'm going to show you guys, let me bring this camera over here. So I'm using a Vintage 30 as for reference. You would put this right in between where the cone meets the centerpiece. And I would put it like actually level like that. If you can see, my hand's probably a little shaky. But it would be right on the edge. So it gets just enough highs and gets just enough uh, low end. And now the D6 would be somewhere between I would say here and the very edge. Now this is picking up all the low end and you would blend both of these mics and get the um, good tone I would say. But yeah so center here usually center and then right in between here. So now we move on to lead guitars. What do I use to push a lead amp? I only use an OCD. I've tried other pedals. I've tried the Boss Blues Driver. I've tried the Boss Super or um, Super Overdrive. I've tried many, many pedals, and this one just seems to work the best, not only for rhythm, but for lead. I found out that this was great for lead first, and then we use it for rhythm, and it sounds awesome. But uh, OCD is what I use, and a Gibson SG Standard is what I use for the lead guitars. Now I've used my Strat once. It's very rare that I would use a Strat or use anything else. Um, I've just had the best lead tone and luck with an SG Standard. I don't touch anything on this amp other than changing um, for strap locks and putting this Velcro grip. You know, it helps with recording. Other than that, um, we also do tape the ends right here with blue tape, uh, painter's tape, and um, whenever we get to a really tricky part, we'll actually uh, tape the strings that are not being used just to make sure they don't ring out in a weird way. Um, but that's just what we do. The lead cabinets that I use for lead guitar, this uh, JCM 800 1982. This is an old cabinet, it's made with real wood, and it has K100 speakers that are from England. Um, so they're England made. So it's, it's definitely an old cabinet because they no longer make um, the uh, selections in um, England anymore. I don't believe they do. Um, but yeah, this cabinet, I used to have a 1960s A um, and this just whipped it out of the water. Um, so this is the cabinet that I use and it's a 400 watt cabinet, obviously. It's not cranked all the way up to that because we do have our volumes actually quite low, um, but they're still loud, but they're just not pure loud, you know? Um, the other cabinet I use is this EVH with two Creamback 65 speakers in it. Super smooth, super just, um, just really overall good distortion tone. Um, those are usually the two that I've used. I used a Mesa, um, a Mesa 212 with the G30 anniversary speakers um, for Taste or Regret and Only Left in Memory. Those two songs were that cabinet and it was good. I liked it, but I definitely like this cabinet. This one's my overall lead cabinet. And if we can't get what we want out of this, then we'll use the other 212 uh, EVH. The Triumph Mark II. The Huden Kettner Triumph Mark II has been the best lead guitar tone for me personally. I've tried Orange Rocker Verbs. I've tried um, Eggnator, I've tried so many other amps and every time 
the Hugh and Kettner beats it. Um, there's just something about it that I just love. It's very different from most people's lead tone, so it's very unique to me. Um, and believe it or not, there's six channels on here, but the the two most metal channels, I actually use um, the A channel instead of the B channel. The B channel is actually more gain and more low end, and you would think that I would use that for leads, but I really don't. Um, I only use the A. Um, it's just kind of like, it just worked perfectly. It wasn't too much, but it wasn't not enough as well. Now I'm gonna show you these settings and you won't be, you're, you'll be surprised. Oops, sorry, let me get this tripod down. Now my settings, if you can even see it, the gain is at one, it's anywhere between one and 12 and then you can boost it if it's on 12 usually. Now the bass actually is ramped up and it is at, oops, where is my bass? My bass is at 12. Um, you're allowed to use thicker, um, more thicker tones for lead guitar because it will cut through still. Um, my mids are at 11, which is very different. Um, sometimes they're equal and sometimes they're a little bit like at one o'clock. It just depends on you know the time that we're recording. The treble, is at um, 12 o'clock. If you can see, there it is. The treble is at about 12 o'clock, almost one o'clock. And my presence, this one's a good one, is at three. So that's my settings for the lead tone. Now I do use, I've used in the past, I've used the JCM 800. And this is great. And honestly, between those two amps, I'm done with lead tone. That's all my lead tone I've ever wanted. I have other amps, like I have the Hugh and Kettner Warp X, I have a few Mesas, I have the PV, I have the EVH. But these are just very spongy and very, they are just so good. The only other amp that would come in place of replacing this one or the Hugh and Kettner would be the Marshall JVM. Um, I have a two, 210 model, the 100 watt head. I prefer the 50 watt, but I have the 100, so it's cool. But those are the three heads that I would ever use for leads. Anything else, um, I just don't get what I want out of them. I use the OCD for overdrive sometimes, and sometimes I don't use the overdrive at all. But what I usually always use on solos are crybabies. And I only have used these two. I have an Ibanez uh, wah pedal. I have, um, I can't remember the name of the other brand, but it's like Bad Horsey. Uh, wall and crybaby like Dunlop crybabies are just they're perfect for me they're like exactly what I need now I only use this one is most recent it's a slash model but this is the older model it actually comes with its own distortion which this is a very powerful one it um I think it's 18 volts yeah 18 volts or 9 volts um and it's cool to switch around the voltage on that but my, I would say my go-to crybaby is the 535Q. I've just had really good luck with this one, and this one also comes with a distortion that I would boost. Usually I would boost for the solos, and you can see I, I modded, not only I painted it, but I painted where to go, and I put it on the more high end of wall pedals. Um, but I love this one because this one you can dial in your tone and you can have your own tone. The Slash Crybaby just obviously is like Slash's tone, but that's more, um, I've used it during the fake love solo on that BTS cover that we did. We use a Slash one because it just sounded really snargly and just nasty. Um, but yeah, these are the two main ones that I use. Rhythm guitar, I don't use any, um, I would call them after effects, anything that's in the effects loop such as reverb, uh, chorus, delay. That's usually more for the lead side. The lead side is where I go crazy. The rhythm tone, it's every very rarely I we would use uh, uh, reverb. But for the lead tone, I'm going to show you what I have on my pedal board now because this is what I've been usually recording with. Um, and I don't have like a certain one that I use more than the other. Actually, that's a lie. I'll tell you that in a second. But um, you can see the pedals that now the delay I use the most is this MXR carbon copy. I've just had really good luck with it. And then I got a Canon just for, you know, messing with new tones. Um, I have the Keeley uh, reverb and delay. Right now on the board, I have a phaser. The phaser actually is not usually on this board. Usually what I tend to use for lead, I use a chorus. 
I use uh, delay and reverb. That's usually it. Um, anything else, uh, very rarely, like we can use, I don't know, you can use a flanger. We haven't done that yet though. Um, we probably won't. But um, anyways, I have a hardwire studio chorus. I have a hardwire um, reverb. I have, this is just the Jam Man loop, that's actually not in for recording, and this is a Sonic Stomp, I use it for my solid state amp, but a uh, hardware, uh, hardwire delay, Strymon Dig, this was another one that comes in probably second place for the most that I use for my tone, it's just really good delay, of course you got a blue sky, everyone needs a blue sky, you have a supernatural. This is where our creepy, if you guys have heard any of the very creepy after effects or effects during what we use, it's it's usually the supernatural. Um, and then I just got this afterneath pedal, and um, this one's really good as well. And um, usually these two are for creepy, um, creepy solos. And then this is more for the like, traditional leads and that. But yeah. There you go. So that is my lead and rhythm tone as far as studio goes. I might make another video about live because live is actually a little bit different. Uh, if you guys want that, comment below and I will do that. Um, you can subscribe, you can hit that little bell. It helps me out, it helps everyone else out on YouTube. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, you can check my Instagram, Eric Shreds, and that's it. See ya.